So who wants to go first? Let's go start with Elliot. I'll take number one. I'll take okay, so Elliot, Elliot got a first ever, ever win for Las Woo! Vegas Desert Rats. How did you feel about your game? It was certainly interesting. I mean, I was laughing when Teamwork played the exact same opening. I noticed that. It was around 15 when I, when I looked over and I realized that we had the exact same structure. And so, uh, but luckily both of our opponents played differently. Speak loud, can you? So, I'm just kidding. I have a fair amount of experience in, in, that, in that line, and I, I had never seen this setup before. And then I completely hallucinated actually in the middle game. I forgot that um, he had three pieces on G4, and I had three pieces on G4, and then I just moved my queen. I forgot that G4 is not playable. Um, and then it just got crazy. I mean, I, I mean, he would start. I knew he would start sacking things on the king side, and uh, luckily, I think the tactics worked out for me. But it was certainly very close. Can I ask you a question? It's like, well, how did you feel about when he sacked on G2? Because I think that was probably a scary moment. It was scary, but I think at that point I was okay. Okay. Um, we thought so too. Yeah, I did think it was. It was. Uh, it was it, interesting. It, it, it was very close. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it was. It looked very. It was definitely yeah. very close. I mean, the good thing about these lines, I always can sack my work on C8 every single time. Right. So um, I knew that wasn't the issue, but the main line there, I think, was. Um, probably h3 check. And I have yeah, to, then. And I have, to, I have to go king g1. If I take on g3, I actually get mated very nicely. Um, the line goes knight h5 check, king g4, rook f4 check, king g knight, and then queen e8 check, and I'm done. Mm -hmm. um, so, but it's very scary because I have pawns on g3 and h3, and, and I right, have they're king they're king they're one, knight on h1. Um, but I think at that, at that point, I'm still okay. Okay. It, it definitely wasn't, you know, not worrisome. No. I mean, I, I think there he can even try H3 instead of my fix G2, and I still have to cop something. But at that point, I, I, was, I was feeling okay. okay. It was scary, though, for sure. It was a moment in the game like that. Well, it was a very exciting game. Very exciting No, it was very much. Very much. Okay, let's and go. I'm honored to, uh, let's go, uh, Juan, let's go to Timur, yeah? <laughs> Timur, give us your thoughts on the game. I think it was a, uh, it was a good opening for me. I think he made a few inaccurate moves, which allowed me to get the, the advantage. And I think it was decisive advantage once I had the two pieces for the rook. Uh, but uh, I misplayed it because um, I didn't have enough time. I just pushed h4 a little too early. And then all of a sudden, I may end up actually in trouble because the, the h pawn is a fast pawn. So, <laughs> You know, and then I, I, I had the bishop of four idea in mind in different scenarios, and as I started looking at it, I figured that was the most active way to continue. So, and you know, I have some perpetuals there, just in case, with a, you know, with just a little bit of time, I think it was a simpler position to try to play instead of trying to, um, you know, defend. I think that was pretty much the only way to really continue to keep up the initiative. So, and then uh, at the end. He obviously started getting. Uh, uh, he, he couldn't couldn't figure out how to defend against the my pieces, my light pieces. So the strength of the attack is basically determined by the fact that there's, there's the opposite color bishops. So you know the attack is that much stronger, but my king is really weak. So he has all the perpetuals and all sorts of checks. So I had I had to really. Watch out, but you know, I, I think at the end it was, it was a fair result. Both of your games were. All right, so you, you, you have a question. Put your question. Well, well, do you think that um, I look on him, he has a pad there for the mouse? His t shirt is like the winning. Hey, I'm back. I'm back. I'm no, back on. Do, do you think that this. this uh, Discomfort uh, influence your Oh, game. yeah, I mean, a mouse would be helpful, especially down to like maybe seconds, but uh, we'll just try to do it next time. <laughs> all right, guys, so we, we tie the match 2 2. Uh, not not a bad start at all. Yeah. We, have, we have a rookies, we've never done this before. So. Uh, and next, next week we play St. Louis team, uh, 6 p.m., same time, so tell your friends. And, hey, that's, a, that's a new name for our team, Akobe, Rookie Bookies. Akobian and uh, Ramirez. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> show you guys. So, yes.
Yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna have some champagne, yeah? And a yeah. picture. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Just put a hose in my mouth. Oh.